Hi friends! It's me again, sitting on my front porch. Cooper is playing in the dirt. So hopefully I'll get this quick video done before we have a meltdown. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit more about gut health. Gut health, such a big thing. Um, once again, I love learning. So I am trying to build my knowledge as much as possible. And I've been learning more about the cells of the gut, right? Our bacterial cells. And I don't know if you knew this, but we have more bacterial components to our body than we do like human cells. Like we're literally more bacteria than we are human. 10 times more bacteria cells make up our bodies than human cells do. Fascinating. The other thing that's super interesting to me that I've learned is that our enteric nervous system, so it's basically our, our gut nervous system, our second brain as some people call it, there are 500 million neurons 500 million neurons in our gut and they are responsible for 30 different neurotransmitters 30 different neurotransmitters are responsible or uh, produced based on our gut health okay so often people think of like there's certain typical diseases that we think of being related to the gut like oh IBS my irritable bowel of course that's gut related but I don't know if you knew I have a list I'm gonna read this list to you all of the things that are related to the gut. Oh, good morning, Tina. Yay. So many things related to the gut. So I'm going to read this list. Count how many you have, because I'm sure it's at least a couple or more. And think of people that you might know in your life that have some of these issues, because they might not have any idea it's related to gut health. And getting their gut healthy could clear up some of this other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go through this list, right? Some of the obvious ones, but bad breath. People who have like chronic bad breath acid reflux, constipation, bloating, inflammation, not just in the bowels, but inflammation throughout the body, weight gain, the inability to gain weight or the inability to lose weight, diarrhea, of course that makes sense, anxiety, depression, mood disorders, okay? These are gut related because of those neurotransmitters, our second brain and their ability to control some of our hormones and the, just the neurons in our body, okay? this is like behavior issues, ADD, ADHD. Um, what else do we have on here that's behavior? Mood disorders, I already said that. Schizophrenia, autism, Parkinson's disease, okay? These are all gut related. This is crazy, right? And then there's ones that we expect, um, skin conditions. Maybe some people know that, yeah, if you've got a whole bunch of acne, rosacea, psoriasis, dermatitis, that's coming from your gut. You get your gut cleaned up, your skin will clean up. Um, autoimmune issues, a lot, a lot of our autoimmune issues come from an inability to balance the gut and toxins seeping out, right? Okay, so we have autoimmune mood disorders, skin conditions, um, obesity, we talked about that, diabetes, of course, Crohn's disease, colon cancer, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel syndrome I talked about, thyroid issues, PCOS, thrush, yeast infections, Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, food sensitivities and allergies, migraines, insomnia, fatigue, basic low energy, challenges with metabolism, ADD and ADHD, which I talked about before. So much of our body's ability to function is based in your gut. All of these things, I don't know how many it is, it's gotta be at least 25 to 30 things I listed, are all related to gut health. This is why when people get their gut balanced, they have these incredible testimonies. They have things get better that they didn't know could get better. I didn't know I could sleep better. Yeah, because serotonin has to do with how you sleep and your ability to regulate serotonin has to do with your sugar levels and your gut health. This is a big deal. Like, all of these things. Um, especially with the mommies I'm working with, like yeast infections, right? Thrush, when you get a lot of antibiotics on board, your balance of your body and the microbes gets out of whack. Did you know our good balanced body would have 80% good bacteria and 20% of the quote bad bacteria? 20% bad bacteria, 80% good bacteria is a balanced gut. None of us in America have that balanced of a gut, I can tell you that. Our food, our antibiotics, all the things that we're doing, most of us are probably switched. 80% of the bad stuff, which is why we have all of these other issues, right? And maybe 20% of the good. Think about it. If you know anyone that's got these problems, it is gut related. It's gut related. Get your gut figured out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know how to get your gut figured out, contact me. Contact someone who knows about gut health, okay? I care about you. That's why we make these videos. It's important. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.